I've done a lot of graphic design in school, but also on my own. I'm going to show you a bit of both and how I go about it. I start out most of my ideas by sketching in one of my sketchbooks. I have many sketchbooks. My school sketchbook, I keep all my assignments and research. I've learned how to make two point perspective pyramids, cylinders, scrolls, and how to construct things out of cubes. My love of cats somehow makes into many of my projects. I had to tell you how I completed one project, my kitty font. I decided to make a cat font because I thought the cat font would be really cute. I used a program called Font Truck. It was not hard at all. I really didn't know what my kitty font would look like when I started. I found a lot of cat pictures, the good ideas, and pasted them in my sketchbook. To start, I made what I thought was a cute font, then I added characters and a tail. I did not experiment with too many looks. There were some limits to the font program, so I stuck with my first design direction. Overall, I thought my project turned out great. It was just what I was going for. I turned the font in as my class project. I decided to use my font again when I was making a poster for Tech Yankees contest. Since the project about the environment, I looked around my yard for different kinds of plants. I laid them down on some poster board and spray painted over them. It was pretty smelly. My design didn't come out the way I thought, but I liked it anyway. That's the way it works with art sometimes. I combined spray paint art with the design I made on the computer using my font. a close up of my final poster. They gave me a t-shirt for submitting my poster, so I guess it was okay. T-shirt had a point though, so last weekend my dad and I tie-dyed it. I think that art is not always beautiful. Sometimes what is interesting to some people is not interesting to others. But, and that's okay. I used the button that said, Art should comfort the disturbed and disturb the comfortable. It's hard to know when to be imaginatively practical. I think of it this way. I let it fly. I simply know what paying attention is good. I feel, I, I feel like people really give me feedback on my work. When they do, I appreciate it. Graphic design is the type of art that appeals to me. One of the things I like most about it is that I get to use computers. I got a button maker last Christmas. I've been making a lot of, into making a lot of those. I make them on pictures I find. You may have noticed a few buttons on my rollway. So my ideas about art have changed a lot as they became older, but I always knew I wanted part of the art world, even if it was just in my small way. Thanks for watching my portfolio show.